Our main focus and aim is to dissect and select those patients that are at high risk to develop cancer long before cancer would be actually detected in the clinic and then use this knowledge to induce preventive measures to prevent cancer before happening and thereby also to try to reduce cancer incidence. We now understand that on one hand immune cells can protect us from cancer. Adaptive immune cells can identify tumor cells based on their surface molecules and they can actually destroy these tumor cells. However, we know at the same time that not all cells help us to get rid of cancer. Most of the cells that are in the inflammatory environment of a tumor disease are actually cells that prevent the immune cells from actually detecting and eradicating cancer. So we try to understand the good and the bad side of the immune system in promoting but also protecting us from cancer development. We perform in vitro experiments, but most importantly, we investigate patient cohorts and try to correlate our data from mouse models into the clinical reality. That is very difficult to do in the DKF set as such. So we collaborate intensively with departments here at the campus, but also all over Germany to achieve an efficient cross-validation and cross-correlation between our mouse preclinical models and our um, human patient cohorts. Our aim in the next 10 to 20 years is to prevent inflammation-induced carcinogenesis. And that, on one hand, will be executed by identifying those patients who are at high risk to develop cancer, and hopefully also by being able to intervene in a therapeutic fashion to those patients that have already developed cancer.